joining me right now is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, Republican Congressman from California, Devin Nunes, joins us from the World Ag Expo in California this morning. Congressman Nunes was one of the first to cast doubt on the Russian collusion narrative. He has been working two years to uncover and expose it. He recently penned an op-ed in the Washington Examiner titled The Russian Collusion Hoax Meets an Unbelievable End. And Congressman, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's great to be with you again. Look, this is the first time you and I are talking on this program. I spoke with you last week, I know, on, on Mornings with Maria on the Fox Business Network. But this is the first time we are talking after the conclusion of, of the no collusion from the uh, special counsel and from the AG. Congratulations. You ought to be taking a victory lap here, Congressman. You've been trying to expose all of this for the last two years coming on this program uh, every several weeks to talk about it. How are you doing after this? I'm doing well, and I just want to thank you also for your show, because you're one of the few shows that actually let members of Congress and others come on and actually get into the meat of the details. So I would say that uh, your investigative journalism uh, has been great on this, Maria, uh, and there's still more work to do. And, you know, there's no really time for victory laps because, you know, people have to be held accountable for this nonsense. That's that absolutely right. And, and that's what our viewers want to know. Where is the accountability? You, you wrote this op-ed in the Washington Examiner, the Russian collusion hoax meets unbelievable end, where you really laid out exactly how this started and how the Clinton campaign paid for a dirty dossier, which was then penetrated throughout our government, throughout the media, to keep this narrative alive and put a cloud under a duly elected president for two years. Yeah, and I would also say this is kind of a strange uh, situation where you have McCarthyism, like new McCarthyism, that merged with Watergate wannabes. So you had unbelievable leaks that occurred across all levels of our government. You had all sorts of reporters. Ninety percent of the press essentially was, was in on this. It started by, by dirtying up a presidential candidate, and then it went on to dirtying up a president. Uh, and you had a bunch of, I think, people within FBI, DOJ, we don't know exactly where, but they're like the wannabe, the next deep throat, uh, the person who's leaking classified information uh, for the betterment of all society. But in this case, it just got completely out of hand, and we've had unbelievable uh, disclosures of classified information. And this is why uh, you know, we've been working so hard for two and a half years, waiting for a real attorney general, which we have now, an attorney general bar, a grown-up is finally in the room. And which is why we're prepared to do a lot of cleanup here. Uh, let's talk about that cleanup and what comes next, because we want to get into where the law was broken. You are going to come out with a list of referrals, and you told me you are ready to hand this over to the AG this upcoming week.